Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Sheen, your host. This is Money Matters. In this channel, we talk about money, finance, how to grow your money, how to invest your money, how to make money work hard for you. Guys, if you haven't yet already, consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Check out the links in the description below for free stocks, free money. I will sign up with using my links and you'll get free stocks, free money. I'll get free stocks, free money. It really helps out the channel and I really, really appreciate it. So uh, today we're going to talk about Hylion. Uh, it is their first conference call as a public company. Uh, it was their Q3 2020 results. Uh, and, you know, you know, for the most part, I think it was a good conference call. The, you know, everything presented was good. Uh, Thomas Healy spoke very well. Uh, and, you know, pretty much everything that was said, uh, we as people, investors that have been following the company for the past few months, uh, probably know like 95% of the information. Uh, but for, for people that are just new to the company, uh, you know, I'm going to go over some of the key points uh, and just point out some things that I found interesting. Uh, so for people that are new, uh, first of all, what Hylion, they, you know, they are a, uh, a drivetrain company. They uh, produce the powertrain for uh, semi-trucks. So uh, they have two solutions out there. One is a hybrid solution. So uh, essentially the semi-truck will be exactly the same, usually a diesel engine, uh, but they will put a electric axle and some batteries in it. Uh, and it will just uh, help fuel savings, help fuel costs, uh, and essentially kind of like a giant Toyota Prius. Uh, you know, Toyota Prius could get anywhere from like uh, 35, 45, up to 50 miles per gallon uh, because, you know, it has a extra uh, electric motor in it that helps, uh, helps out the regular engine. So uh, just think of it as a giant Toyota Prius and it could save a lot of fuel and a lot of money. Uh, but moving into the future, uh, their, you know, their main product is going to be the Hypertruck ERX. Uh, and that is a solution that will remove the diesel engine so you don't have an engine at all and will replace it with an actual generator. Uh, now this generator is being powered by natural gas and more specifically renewable natural gas. Uh, and so this specific renewable natural gas uh, is captured from uh, methane from farms, uh, from, uh, from waste, from landfills. Uh, so instead of letting this gas just uh, seep into the atmosphere, uh, and it is a, a greenhouse gas, uh, they capture this gas uh, and it is refined and used as uh, natural gas for fuel. Uh, so that way, this is a very, very clean solution. Uh, and, you know, it is at times uh, when it's using uh, renewable natural gas, uh, it is a net negative carbon emissions profile. Uh, so those are the two solutions uh, just to get everyone caught up to date. Uh, so they just became public and uh, they had their Q3 earnings. Uh, so we're going to talk about it. Here it is. Uh, so basically three uh, kind of three highlights that they talked about. They talked about their merger between Hylion and Tortoise uh, and that yielded them about two, uh, $520 million in net proceeds. Uh, they installed eight hybrid electric vehicles in the third quarter of 2020 uh, to four fleet based customers. They also signed an agreement with FEV North America to accelerate their commercialization of their hybrid truck ERX. Uh, so I also want to add uh, some information uh, that they spoke about during the conference call. Uh, one of them is uh, ANG, which is American Natural Gas. Uh, they have an order from them for up to 250 uh, ERX trucks. Uh, that is in addition to the 1000 uh, Hypertruck ERX that we already knew about from Agility. Also in the conference call, uh, they were questioned about hydrogen. Uh, so the, the particular uh, analyst that questioned uh, the hydrogen uh, solution. Uh, so they, they asked if the Hypertruck ERX uh, is capable of uh, accepting a hydrogen solution as fuel. Uh, and Thomas Healy very, uh, you know, very intelligently said that uh, they engineered the Hypertruck ERX, uh, that powertrain solution, uh, to be able to accept a hydrogen fuel cell in the future. Uh, so, you know, that the, the, the that just shows me that they think well into the future uh, and just kind of like covering all their bases. Uh, so basically, uh, in the future, when there is hydrogen infrastructure and hydrogen is uh, a lot cheaper to, to produce, uh, Hypertruck ERX will be able to leverage that new fuel solution. Uh, and is as, it is as simple as removing uh, the natural gas uh, tank. Uh, replacing it with a, uh, a, a hydrogen tank uh, and then removing uh, the, the, the generator uh, that's in there in the Hypertruck ERX and replacing it with a fuel cell generator. Uh, and there you go. There, and then you are ready to roll on hydrogen. Uh, so just, just engineered from the very beginning to be able to accept future, uh, future fuels. Uh, also, uh, you know, Thomas Healy is on the ball. He uh, said to, he said, uh, on the conference call, uh, they, you know, specifically this analyst uh, did even mention himself that uh, it won't be until about 2050 uh, that 
hydrogen will be on price parity with natural gas. Uh, so there's no reason why hydrogen, why uh, Hylion uh, would be, you know, putting a hydrogen system uh, on the road today is just too expensive. And, you know, customers uh, don't have the ability to get hydrogen as a fuel source uh, very readily. So uh, even that analyst specifically said in his own report uh, that, you know, it, hydrogen is still at least 30 years into the future. Uh, so uh, to just show that Thomas Healy is on the ball. He knows what he's talking about. Uh, and they have planned for the future uh, to you know a, be, to be able to accept hydrogen when the time comes all right so these the, you know this is their numbers you know not very interesting you know basically uh, they went from 6.7 million uh, for research and development costs up to 8.1 million uh, their net loss uh, almost doubled it was 10 million loss in 2019 uh, and up to 18.6 million loss in 2020 uh, basically all the numbers went up uh, so you know it is it is expected you know they're not uh produced they're well they're not delivering you know vehicles you know they delivered all of i think 13 uh so far in 2020 uh so uh this is to be expected uh you know if obviously if you're not really delivering vehicles your uh your cost of goods sold is going to be high and you're you know you're not making any revenue so not too surprising you know this was news that we knew about way back in june uh, you know this this was not this is not new information uh they already said in june that they expect to sell 20 uh trucks and they are on schedule to do the exactly 20 trucks for 2020. so i uh, look at any uh, look at their balance sheet uh, so this balance sheet uh is uh, as of September 30th, so this does not include uh, the 500 plus million dollars uh, in net proceeds from their acquisition, from their Tortoise uh, merger. Uh, they have well over 500 million dollars in cash uh, as of current. Uh, and they also talked about their warrants. Uh, so if all the warrants are expedited, uh, they will have an, another uh, 140 million dollars in cash uh, to put on that balance sheet. So they have well over 600 million dollars in cash. Uh, and you see on the bottom, their total current liabilities is only 39 million dollars. So that is a lot to say for a uh, company that's just getting started just uh, pre-revenue and literally uh, going to be you know producing vehicles and uh, and revenue uh, in 2021 and in 2022 uh, to be completely debt free and have you know well over 600 million dollars in cash uh, so a very very good very very strong position uh, for them to be in all right so some things i want to talk about uh, so this is from their uh, june uh, 2020 uh, release uh, their, their their press release when the merger was first announced uh, and you see from the very beginning uh, they said that in 2020 that they're going to be delivering uh, 20 uh, hybrid uh, electric solutions uh, and they have delivered 13 so far uh, and they are expecting to deliver seven in q4 uh, so they are exactly right on track uh, to deliver the 20 uh, that they said that they were going to do uh, the only thing that is different though uh, they expected to get one million dollars in revenue for these 20 uh, 20 uh, hybrid solutions uh, but they did say in the conference call that uh, that is not going to happen they're not going to recognize this one million dollar in revenue uh, basically because uh, they're going to okay so they will recognize this million dollars uh, in the future they're just not going to recognize it in 2020 uh, and the, the reason they give is basically uh, these these solutions that they shipped out in 2020 uh, this, they're kind of like pre pre-revenue uh, uh, trucks solutions uh, powertrains uh, so uh, they, they just don't feel that they should recognize this revenue as of current uh, because it is a possibility that these customers uh, can return uh, this solution the, the powertrain uh, if they're unhappy with it and it would just be wrong to recognize uh, the revenue on their balance sheet uh, when there's a possibility that these customers uh, could uh, return the return the product uh, so i think that was very transparent of them uh, and you know just being upfront uh, and just being you know more cautious uh, and not recognizing this revenue uh, right away and just wait uh, wait further down the line in 2021 for them to actually recognize this revenue uh, so uh, like again uh, very transparent i like that about the company uh, and they're just telling you up front that you know that that's the way that's the that's the reason talked about in uh, 2022 they are expecting uh, to sell about 2500 uh, of the hypertruck erx there that's when they're going to actually be making uh, deliveries of their hypertruck erx solution uh, in 2021 they'll be making a few pre uh, pre-order deliveries uh, and then so we found out uh, that uh, 1250 of these uh, will be going to uh, agility so a thousand to agility and then uh, up to 250 for american natural gas all right so just to wrap it up uh, just a few more points i want to touch upon uh, so first of all uh, there was a caller that said that asked you know what of hylion's technology is proprietary as far as uh, this analyst understanding is that uh, all the hardware uh, in their trucks uh, is not proprietary uh, and you know they don't have any uh, intellectual property uh, so thomas healy did 
uh, correct him and, and, and specifically say, uh, you know, what is proprietary to Hylion. So first of all, uh, Dana, they, you know, we already knew this, that Dana is one of their biggest partners, uh, that they are actually manufacturing the actual drive motors and Toshiba is providing the, the cells, the battery cells. But Thomas Healy did say uh, that basically that is all uh, that is provided from uh, from from other vendors all the battery management the cooling the modules all the assembly of the batteries uh, is is done by Hylion uh, and is proprietary to Hylion all the software the the management systems uh, all that is also proprietary uh, to Hylion and they do have patents uh, on the hyper uh, hypertruck ERX as well as the hybrid solution uh, and you know some of those are making its way to the patent office uh, so uh, they do have uh, intellectual property uh, that is spe that is uh, specific uh, to Hylion so not anybody you could just come come along and uh, cop, copy highly on solution uh, so guys that's pretty much it you know most of this stuff we already knew, but if you're new to Hylion and uh, just starting to look into Hylion, I hope you found some good information. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're we're going to be really looking forward to the end of 2021 uh, when they're going to be making uh, most of their hybrid solution deliveries. I think they said 300 in 2021. Uh, and also at the end of 2021, uh, they'll be, they'll be uh, producing and uh, distributing a few of the Hypertruck ERX uh, as a, as a pre-sale. So uh, really in 2022 is when they're going to start uh, big mass producing and mass delivering uh, the Hypertruck ERX solution. So really in 2022 is when this company really, really gets exciting. Uh, but towards the end of next year, uh, we will see some decent revenue uh, and hopefully some new customers announced and more sales uh, announced. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for, for watching. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Catch you next one. Have an awesome weekend. Peace.